Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, and we've got a great new tutorial, but also we have a new product to announce. So stick around after the tutorial, give you a quick heads up on that. Okay, here's what we're gonna be creating. So basically it's one of those titles that kind of fly around. Um, you may have seen this effect on the Riot Gear promo. At the end there. Um, and so I got a lot of requests and uh, so here it is. What we're gonna do to get started is create a new composition. Make it 10 seconds and just use the NTSC DV preset or your preset. And first thing, let's grab the text tool and let's go ahead and start writing something. Make. Um, I have Arial Black, regular. You can check out the settings here. Um, I'm gonna to toggle up my title action safe and I wanna center this on there, pretty good like that. And I'm gonna create a new camera. 35 millimeter preset, that's okay. And now let's go and change this make layer to a 3D layer. So now we have a camera and we're in 3D space, great. We're off to a great start. Clear some room here. Um, what we're gonna do is add an animation to this make layer and once we're happy with it, then we're gonna duplicate it and uh, make the sequence. So I'm gonna bring up a few of the properties in the transform. Now I'm gonna select the layer, hit P and T to bring up the position and opacity. Now we can move this around in 3D space like so. Okay, I'm gonna set a position keyframe at the zero point for the layer. And we want to go on the X, Y, Z axis and just pull it forward. Now, if you hold down shift, it'll go a little faster and you can just make easier adjustments that way. And then we're going to move forward about eight frames and then reset that to zero. So it kind of animates in. And then I'm going to go forward to about one second and set another position keyframe. And again, forward about 10 frames. And now we want to kind of push this off far away. Perfect. Now, in addition to it going far away, we also want it to fade out. So I'm going to set an opacity keyframe and fade it out to zero. Easy enough. Now, to make this a little more dynamic, we're going to go to the second keyframe and just offset the make layer, maybe about 100 pixels. And that way, it'll come in, size down, and then fade out. Now, you're going to run into this problem that I'm finally glad to address, and that is this sort of boomerang effect where even though the keyframes are set properly, it kind of zooms in and just acts kind of awkward. So to fix that, you can right-click on a keyframe, choose Keyframe Interpolation, and change the spatial interpolation to linear. And you can do this for any keyframes that seem to be affecting this. Um, you can also change that in your settings, so uh, have a look, and I'm sure you'll uh, find what you're looking for. Now that our animation is working properly, um, we're going to go ahead and set an Easy Ease keyframe on this position keyframe. So you can hit F9, and that'll do that. You can also undo this by Control clicking on it, or Control click on it and change the keyframe type as well. And uh, and of course, those are good for uh, you know a certain type of animating. So now let's just cut the layer off at about right here. Um, we can just bring this in. If you hold down shift, it'll snap even. Um, now to give this a little more life, I'm going to select the layer, choose effect, generate ramp. Go ahead and change the ramp shape to radial. And that's more of a circular ramp. And reverse the color. So we'll make this close, close to white and we'll make this um, more of a darker color. And that way we sort of have a uh, lighter in the middle kind of look. You can also bring this in um, to change that. So that looks pretty good. And we can also give it a colorization, color correction, hue and saturation. Change it to colorize and whatever your uh, favorite color is. And I'll just desaturate this a little bit. Okay, um, you can also add a levels adjustment. Let's see color correction, levels, and just give it a little more contrast if you like. So 
That looks pretty good. Um, now, let's go ahead and hit U on the keyboard. That way you can see the keyframes. And we're going to duplicate this layer. You can also do Control D. And we'll do four times. And then we'll line up the beginning of each one with the start of the outro keyframes. So we want them to overlap just a bit. You can also hit U um, for all of them so that you can see where it's going to line up. The more accurate this is, it just the timing will look a lot nicer. Okay. Now you may want to change what this says. So we can just say make, let's see, my day punk. Should we add an exclamation mark? I think so. Um, okay, so make my day punk. Great message, great message. Um, now we can also turn on the motion blur for each of the layers and then on for the comp as well. And uh, that way it just kind of flies in with some smoothness. And as you can see, as the new one comes in, the other one animates away. So it almost seems like it's this great big uh, 3D world of sorts. Okay, so that's pretty good, but we can do a little bit more to this. So I'm going to create a new solid and we'll make it like a dark blue and just put it in the background. And of course, a new black solid. And we're going to add a vignette mask, just a circular mask. Hit M, subtract the mask, add some feathering. I never do this. Just kidding. And then just bring this down on top of the background layer. So now we have a little more definition. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. But the other thing I did was add a little bit of a camera shake. So I'm going to create a new null object. And we're going to call this wiggle. And what I want to do is bring up the position, alt click, and add a wiggle. Eight comma 20. So eight times a second offset about 20 pixels. So it kind of just moves out of control a little bit. Then what we want to do is take the camera and parent it to this wiggle. Now the wiggle layer needs to stay two dimensional. So don't turn on the 3D layer switch. Otherwise the camera is going to move in Z space and it'll look a little awkward. Um, in this case though, it should work pretty well. So now we come to the second part of this video, and that is the big announcement. Um, what we have is a new product called Designer Sound Effects. And basically what this collection is, um, you can obviously read up on this, and there's a link on the tutorial page. Um, this is a collection of those cool, hard-hitting sound effects that you hear in movie trailers. So all of those effects, the swishes and the hits and the drum buildups, they're all part of this collection and every sound is separated into separate files so you can mix them together, add hard hits to your own music tracks, add cool ambient sounds, and a bunch of other cool things. We're going to have some more information about the product coming soon, but available Monday, June 18th. So I'll put that on your calendar and of course we will have a, a complete list of everything that's included as soon as it's complete. <laughs> anyway, my name is Andrew Kramer, and I thank you guys always for uh, coming out to videocopilot.net and checking out the new tutorials. Hope you guys found this one useful. And of course, you can get the project file for this as well. So anyway, take care, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time.